As a kid growing up, I had two parents who were basically frustrated artists in different ways. And um, my dad was a physicist, but he had studied painting um, in school. And, um, and my mom loved all the arts and music, but she was a scientist. And, um, and so I grew up with the arts, but I also grew up with the arts as something that was a hobby and not something that you did for a living. All I did all the way through, basically from the day I was born till the day you know, I graduated high school was draw. But then I went to business school because I thought I had to just do something to earn a living. And I wound up managing a graphic design studio. And there I got to see all of these people who had professions, if you will, in the arts, whether they were photographers or illustrators or graphic designers. And some of our clients were architects. And I started to um, work with the architects pretty closely and think, I could do this. And this is art, but it's also a profession. And um, I wound up going back to school to study architecture. My first project out of school was a house for my grandmother, and um, I did that in collaboration with two of my partners now, my husband Bill and his twin brother Chris, and it was absolutely terrifying because my grandmother was one of the most important figures in my life growing up. Um, she had supported me to go through to go to Columbia, and so um, she was also giving us our first commission. And you know, if going to Columbia, we were you know we were sort of doing very conceptual theoretical work. And my grandmother said, you know, I want a house with a pitched roof. And we were sort of trying to figure out how we were going to make that work, you know, as our first big commission. And a good friend of mine said, just make the best pitched roof house you can make. And, um, you know, we were studying Alto and Khan and people like that who had also sort of tackled a vernacular architecture. And so we sat with her and we went through all of the requirements that she had, how she wanted to live in the house. And we went away and we came back with a model. And she looked, we explained it, and, and she looked it over and she said, you know, I knew exactly what I wanted, but I didn't know what it would look like. And this is it. And we built the house. I think what's in store for the future of architecture is that we um, will less and less work in a kind of vacuum of just um, pure conceptual design. I think that we need to um, embrace the idea of collaboration with uh, planning, with construction. I think that in addressing issues of um, population um, density, and uh, climate change, especially here in New York City, where we have one of the densest populations and rising sea levels. Um, I really think that um, addressing those issues is, is the future of our profession.